we can remove observations individually we can request a confirmation before each removal as part of that confirmation we can get the screen to auto zoom to the removed observation and also at the end of the removal we can get it to redisplay the previous screen if we're removing an observation along an existing link we can get it to relink through the remaining observations if we use the selection filter we have access to an incredibly powerful capability we can remove all observations we can remove individual observations you wouldn't normally use this because simply clicking each individual observation without the selection filter will be as efficient however because we have the option individual observation selection in the selection filter we can then further subdivide the selection by instrument height target height level range and whether the point is terrain or non-terrain we can remove observations at the end of an individual link and having selected the links we choose escape it has found four observations so that's one at each end of this link and one at each end of this link and we would choose finish and we can build up a selection of particular characteristics that we could for example want to remove point features such as this point feature but only within the current screen display or by a user-defined polygon or user-defined rectangle apply so this will only remove point PO features within that rectangle if we select the option current screen any observations which are linked to points outside of that current screen won't be removed during this exercise